still Carruthers who leads them to the home straight here in a really thrilling race that seems to be changing in pattern every stride. It's at the moment Carruthers by about a neck from Joe Lively, but look at Tirana, is travelling very comfortably indeed for Nick Schofield. Here's the second last, Carruthers on the inside, Joe Lively and Tiranis. What a performance if this would be, if Tiranis pulls this out of the fire. It's Tiranis who draws alongside Carruthers as they race up towards the final fence. Tiranis and Nick Schofield, Carruthers battling back as they race on up the hill. Carruthers on the inside, Tiranis on the near side. They're locked together as they race up the hill from Joe Lively back in third. And Tiranis picks up in some style. And what a training performance this is by Paul Nichols. Two years off the track, Tyrannis is back. Lovely ride from Nick Schofield, and he beats Carruthers and Joe Lively. Madison de Burley again failing at Cheltenham, followed then by Ollie McGurn and nowhere. Neptune Colon powers along in front, and Punchy's Towns has got work to do. Tidal Bay is beginning to run on in third, and he's now a further three lengths behind Punchy's Towns and coming through to press him for second, and he may well emerge yet as the main danger. Neptune Collange from Tidal Bay, who is getting closer. Punchy's Towns looks to spent force. Two from home, Neptune Collange is over. In second, Tidal Bay. Then Punchy's Towns, the t'other one of Madison du Burley, and Neptune Collange, Tidal Bay, the mercurial horse in second, will have to really fly up the run in. If Neptune Collange sees a good stride at the last, he does. Tidal Bay is eight lengths down, is beginning to close but Neptune Collange is galloping on willingly Tidal Bay is now with his customary late flourish coming after the tiring leader Neptune Collange Tidal Bay is getting there not fast enough the Argento chase Neptune Collange rolls back the years and wins for John Hales Tony McCoy and Paul Nichols Tidal Bay in second what a frustrating horse at times Punches Town to his third, the Tunnel on fourth, and Madison de Burley in fifth. Midnight Chase at the track he loves turns back towards the Cheltenham Hill once more. Little Josh in second, Diamond Harry, Ruby Walsh on Tidal Bay, trying to time his effort right, has moved through into third as Diamond Harry begins to labour, and Tidal Bay begins to move through the field in pursuit of Midnight Chase. So one horse that is all heart, Midnight Chase ahead of Tidal Bay, who in the past has proved anything but, but this is a second last and Midnight Chase is over. Now Ruby Walsh asks Tidal Bay to come up the hill. He's in second place. Midnight Chase from Diamond Harry in third. The last. Midnight Chase throws himself at it. Tidal Bay slightly into the bottom of it. Has six lengths to find. Midnight Chase out in front. Tidal Bay is edging closer on the run to the line. Midnight Chase, however, will not be denied at his beloved Cheltenham and lands his fifth course win and wins the Argento Chase. Midnight Chase won it in second place with Tidal Bay. Nakara Bow came from well back with time for Rupert Diamond Harry. Little Josh, any currency in the soil. The Imperial Commander, now 12 years of age, looking for his seventh course success. Hunt Ball, the revelation of last year, but Cape Tribulation stalks them for Dennis O'Regan. Dennis waiting to challenge as they come to the second last. Imperial Commander takes two from home. Cape Tribulation brushes through the top. Hunt Ball in third. Imperial Commander is asked. He finds a couple of lengths. Cape Tribulation has just lost touch with the leader. Can he get back on his tail? Imperial Commander at the last is over. Cape Tribulation, two lengths down the hill awaits them and it's imperial commander who leads by a three quarters of a leg cape tribulation is coming after him but at the moment he can't get by him Sheldon roars one of its favorite sons as imperial commander tries to hold on cape tribulation is surging and heartbreakingly is going to get up and win the argento Cape Tribulation, so gallant in defeat. Imperial Commander, I think, has been run out of it. Hunt Ball just about walks across the line. And in fourth place, Midnight Chase. Champion Court leads. Restless Harry, Ublon, Deso, Bow. Round the outside, Harry Topper. Rocky Creek and the giant bolster. Ublon, Deso, Bow is driven to the lead. Two out. Champion Court next. Restless Harry gives way. Rocky Creek angles out for a sight of the second last with the giant bolster. Two from home, five in line. Ublon, Deso, Bow, the giant bolster. Rocky Creek travels well between the pair. The giant bolster and Rocky Creek. The giant bolster's been round the block a few times. Rocky Creek. The young pretender, the giant bolsters away from the last, slightly the better. Rocky Creek with half a length to find, and the giant bolster is a length and a half clear from in second Rocky Creek. Ublon Desobo and Harry Topper, and Rocky Creek's been well seen off.
by the giant bolster who bounces back to form for David Bridgewater. Tight for second, Rocky Creek all out eventually with Harry Topper who ran on Ublon Desobo, wrestlers Harry, champion court, Pigeon Island always towards the tank. Now they come round towards the home straight here, the Bet Right Cup and many clouds are trying to press on. Here comes Dinast on the outside, it looks to be quite full of running for Tom Skudamore. Smad Place has got every chance on the inside, Theatre Guide, and then comes Black Thunder on the inner with a giant bolster. Only two or three lengths will separate them. Here's the second last now, many clouds from Dinast. Just about about a neck between them as they took that. Smad Place back in third. Many clouds, Dinas are going to fight this out. Smad Place, though, very gamely thrusting his way back into it. Many clouds, the leader over the final fence by about a length from Dinast and Smad Place. They've kicked clear of Black Thunder, the giant bolster. Many clouds out in front here, the Hennessy winner. Here comes Dinast and Smad Place. It's a wave of grey trying to track him down, but Many clouds is very game, and the Hennessy winner wins the Betbright Cup for Leighton Asper and Oliver Sherwood. Back in second was Smad Place, Dinas was third, then a gap to the giant bolster, Black Thunder, and Theodore Guy dropped out to last. Late Naspel on many clouds, Richard Johnson on Smad Place. These two head into the home straight now, and there's very little between them. Last year's first and second look like they'll be first and second again this year in the Bet Bright trial, and Smad Place has regained the lead. Smad Place has come to the last fence with a two-length advantage. Many clouds is tiring in second place. These are clear from Theatre Guide, and then Sam Winner, and now look at Smad Place, he's shot clear. He's ten lengths clear with one so long to go, many clouds in second, theatre guide in third and then Sam Winner and it is Smad Place who heads now up towards the line, coming under pressure in the closing stages, many clouds is chasing him but it's a reverse of last year's 1-2 and this year Smad Place is going to win the Bet Bright trial having made most of the running many clouds in second place theatre guide is in third position, it'll be close for fourth with the giant bolster getting through from a tiring Sam Winner now into the home straight. Smad Place in second. Thistle Crack now trying to make his run in the orange colours through into second position. So it's the grand old Many Clouds in front. The young pretender Thistle Crack now coming through to join him on the right. Second last fence. Many Clouds and Thistle Crack touch down together. Smad Place is behind those. They draw down towards the last. Thistle Crack now on the right in the orange trying to take a slender lead from Many Clouds at the final fence. Thistle Crack and Many Many clouds together. Many clouds is just a slender leader as they race up the hill. Thistlecrack tries to join him as they're entering the closing stages. Thistlecrack just at the moment has the legs of many clouds, but the old campaigner is really faking this horse fight. Oh, this is so close between many clouds. I think he's got it. So Thistlecrack tight between them. Smad place in third place. Fourth is going to be tight. Silviniaco Conti is dabbing fourth place on the line from Carmarlock. So heading towards the home turn, they've got two to jump. It's American against the running rail. The red sleeves, though, have definitely red, takes him on. And so does Bristol to my. And so into the straight, it's definitely red. And Danny Cook, red sleeve jacket lead, just over length ahead. The grey, Bristol to mine second. On the right, American on the left. The last Samurai in fourth place. Definitely red at the second last. Lovely leap, got over it by three lengths. American has rejoined Bristol to my for second place. The last Samurai behind those, one fair to jump. Definitely Red will come to it with a four-length lead. American being galvanised in second place by Noel Feely, but Danny Cook and Definitely Red are on the run in now. American in second position attempting to close. Bristol to my behind that. It's Definitely Red heading towards the closing stages of the Bet Bright trial. Cotswold chase. Victory is his. Definitely Red and Danny Cook have won. American in second. Bristol to my is just going to hold third position from the last Samurai. They come towards the home turn. Alison Montag is trying to get to Frodo, but he hasn't got him off the bridle yet. Frodo and Bryony Frost open up now. Go on by three. Terfort's moving through into second position. Alison Montag is next, then elegant escape. Two to jump. Frodo, another good leap. Landed by three. Terfort is sent out after him now. The grey in second place. Elegant escape has moved into third. They head towards the final fence. Frodo moves towards it. 
What a leap. He's jumped beautifully for Bryony this afternoon. Touches down in front. Elegant escape is rallying to challenge Tearful for second place. Frodon is in third. The race isn't over yet, though. Elegant escape is staying up very strongly up the hill with Tom O'Brien. Frodon is just in front and has seen off the final challenge. Frodon wins. Elegant escape in second. Tearful in third. Alison Montag was fourth.